OK, the other top six encounter at the weekend was a chance for Hearts to really open up the battle for European places. A win and they would be right in the mix. The visitors Motherwell had lost four in a row and they were in danger of being squeezed out of Europa League contention. Their most recent defeat was last week at Fir Park, where Dundee United booked their European place in a five-goal thriller and piled the pressure onto Craig Brown's men. Another defeat against Hearts, and Motherwell would be in danger of missing out. Here's Jonathan Sutherland. An entertaining first half at Tyne Castle began with Motherwell on the attack. Stephen Jennings with the ball in the final third, a shot from range, a slight deflection, and Hearts keeper Jimmy McDonald with the save. Next up, the silky skills of David Templeton, outfoxing two Motherwell defenders. The rather tame shot was then spilled by Michael Fraser, who did just enough to stop David Abua from scoring. In the end, Gary Glenn blazed high over the bar. But overall, it was Motherwell with the better of the play. Winger Jim O'Brien with the pass to Giles Coke in field. The midfielder, who was impressive all afternoon, screwed his shot just wide of the goal. O'Brien and Coke then combined, this time down the left-hand side. O'Brien with the cross and Coke forcing McDonald into a save. Coke rather eclipsing Michael Stewart. The Hearts midfielder did, however, start one significant move that resulted in Templeton going down under challenge from young Motherwell defender Stephen Saunders. The big question, did Saunders actually get any of the ball before taking Templeton out? Probably not. And if Hearts were feeling sore about that, a large dose of unwelcome irony soon arrived in the leaping shape of Saunders, whose header was blocked on the line, but the defender kept at it to poke the ball home and put Motherwell into a 1-0 lead. A great leap and great hunger from the 19-year-old defender. This his first senior career goal. Right on the stroke of half-time, Motherwell doubled their lead. John Sutton with a header. The goal wrongly credited by some outlets as a Marius Zalyuka's own goal. Tom Haitley with a free kick. The goal Sutton's 12th of the season. This is a bad day for Hearts that all but ended the faint European hopes. Motherwell, on the other hand, could well light up the early stages of European competition. A great pass from Jim O'Brien played in John Sutton. His shot was blocked by McDonald and the follow-up from Jamie Murphy was stopped by Zal Yukis. Hearts boss Jim Jeffries ominously said he'd learned more about his players from this game than in any other match. Murphy denied by McDonald as it finished 2-0. So a welcome win for Motherwell after those four straight defeats. Let's just look at the goals. Um, first one, a wee bit scrappy. Yeah, I touched the guy. It was a bit unfair in Motherwell because Bruins boys have been doing very well. They're playing away from home so they can play a little bit of football and a decent pitch. Yeah, it's a bit scrappy, but, uh, you know, Saunders, his first goal, you know, he's got to be really happy about that. And uh, many years ago, there was the SAS... Sutton and Shearer, now it's Sutton and Saunders. Uh, big argument, as he was saying there. There's no doubt that it's just a very good centre forwards header. And really, what a good finish to the season they've had. And it's been brilliant since Craig Brown's taken over. And uh, I think everyone's smiling for him. And at least to a great end of the season between them and Motherwell for the fourth spot. Yeah, well, they, I mean, them Motherwell. And Hibs, sorry. Absolutely. And Hart's probably just a little bit too far behind now. It has been a remarkable turnaround for Motherwell. And you kind of feel almost it would be just rewards for them to get that European place to you. Yeah, well, absolutely, because, well, the A, the player, good football, but it's just the fact that, you know, the way Craig Brown's got his team together, and, you know, and he's not really added anything greatly to it, you know, he's just got the players expressing themselves, and it's lovely to see Craig Brown doing that, and I think we're re-writing who Craig Brown is, you know, some negativity <laughs> after his Scotland squad, and I always thought uh, the press were a bit harsh on him, rewritten now. And it deserves it. Yeah, it helps when the players understand what the manager's talking about, it, um, it would seem. <laughs> well, let's look at the uh, top six of the table then. As it stands, three games to go. Rangers are the champions. Celtic will finish second. Dundee United will finish third. And as Pat was saying, the battle there between Motherwell and Hibernian, just one point separating them. Hearts, a long shot to get a European place.